all of these uh, big de deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it. Being a celebrity sometimes comes with, like, everybody wants to be successful in a celebrity and stuff like that, but it comes with, you know, sometimes and, you know, that's the only thing that I hate about it. Just when we thought we were wrapping up this whole Surviving Diddy series, Cat Williams just came out and spilled some major theories about how industry men like Diddy forced and ruined young and upcoming artists, and one of the, the name that popped up was that of Basher. Gray, who was allegedly ruined by Diddy and Will Smith, according to the streets, Brasher was taken advantage of by Diddy and Will Smith, and he's reportedly gearing up to file an explosive $50 million suits against them. Reports also claim that the mistreatment he faced in the industry caused his mental breakdown and eventually forced him to leave Hollywood for good. The crazy part this is before the cat came out to spill the tea. Jaguar Re spoke about this over a year ago. When she said Brashear was one of the many young men who ran out of Will's house screaming for help. Powerful Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. That's why, do you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? What? Is to act like it didn't happen. They all do the same job. Now, we, we all know that the allegations about Diddy is forcing young men into the industry, into some very bizarre and ritualistic freaking off parties ain't nothing new from him allegedly essaying Usher and Justin Bieber to him sending Yaiko Cyrus on trips to Jamaica and hooking up with him. The allegations just get worse by the day. However, Cat Williams just set the internet on fire during an explosive interview with Shannon Sharp where he exposed most of the industry men, including Kevin Hart, Cedric, entertainer, Steve Harvey is ludicrous. During the interview, Kat recalled the time when Harvey Weinstein tried to force him to indulge in a freak-off. Fashion in exchange for a movie role was not rocking with the bees, so he declined. He later found out that a bunch of other black men had been cast for the same movie, and that's when he realized that they forced all these black men into these freak-offs for jobs. I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my in front of all my people at my agency. What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, it's three other black guys on there. Woo, huh. So you wonder what they did to get there. <laughs> I told him no, what y'all do? <laughs> <laughs> and this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. As soon as the cat revealed this, people started speculating about if this is why Brasher disappeared from the industry shortly after he started hanging out with Will Smith and Diddy people claim that just like Cat Brasher, was also allegedly forced into the freak-offs in exchange for roles. But at some point, he tried to expose the whole truth. And that's when he got black, as most of y'all already know by now. Brasher was first discovered by a talent manager named Charlie Meck, who later became his manager, Charlie pulled a couple strings and got Brashear a chance to audition for the role of Hey Key Lion Empire. He ate that audition down and was later cast to be in the show as we all know the show went on to be a huge hit and Brasher's career blew up. So Charlie later introduced Basher to Will Smith to mentor him into becoming a big Hollywood star. Now this is where things get a little interesting because you would think that after this Brashear was going to become the next big thing in Hollywood, he, but the start of his mentorship with Will Smith was actually going to be his end. Right after Brasher was given to, will also be introduced Brasher went to Diddy because Brasher wanted to be a rapper at the time. Many people I didn't realize how disturbing this link was. Up was because we didn't know about half the things that Diddy and Will were actually doing today. In fact, there have there have been rumors going around for a while now that Diddy and Will are both on the DL and they've been getting freaky with each other and dragging other young men into it in the name of mentorship. Now, this was first revealed by David Arquette who revealed it in a Facebook rant that Will was actually gay and that his first marriage to Sherry Zampino ended because she caught him in bed with another man when Jada comes out as gay. 
and her bearded husband admits his first marriage ended when she walked in on him. Servicing his sugar daddy, Benny Medina, then I will listen to their crazy thing is Jaguar. Wright also said the same thing not too long ago, when she revealed that will lure these young men into these freak ops by lying to them and saying he's going to mentor them. Even recalled the time when Bashir and Meek Mill reportedly ran out of Will's home screaming for help. They do weird things in their house and young men have left their house screaming to get away from them in their mentorship. Meek Mills. <laughs> Bashir Gray. Left that house screaming. August the only one that stayed and I guess he was really sick. He needed a doll. Also alluded to, will possibly doing the exact same thing to his son. Jaden and claiming that this is probably why Jaden decided to move out of the house when he was just 15 years old. People have collectively, including Will Smith, let's not leave him out. Why your son hate you? Why does your son hate you? What did you do? Why people were giving Will the side eye when Jaguar revealed that this was because he made no effort to deny it but was quick to threaten a lawsuit against his former assistant who claimed he caught Will in bed with Dwayne Martin. So let me get this straight. We'll have no problem with Jaguar accuses him of essaying multiple young men, but he has a problem with Bilal speaking the truth about him. Getting freaky with Dwayne. Make it sense now when it comes to Brasher's mentorship with Diddy. A lot of people I found it weird how his rap career never took off despite having a mogul like Diddy is mentoring him. And the story gets even creepier when you find out that shortly. Before Brasher was handed over to Diddy, for this supposed mentorship, Diddy was already under investigation for allegedly sleeping with young boys. According to a U.S. court filing from 2013, during a debriefing session with F investigators James Roseman, the music manager turn was reportedly questioned about preferences of entertainers, including whether Shah Diddy Combs was having relationships with underage boys and then there was Cassie's lawsuit, which exposed Diddy for forcing her into a freak ops with male escorts while he recorded the lawsuit, undoubtedly opened the doors for more victims to come forward. And fans believe that Brashear is one of those victims after the empire ended Brasher's career quickly went down the drain. He's been arrested multiple times, with the latest being in 2022, when he was found guilty of aggravated assault against a woman he was hooking up with at the time. But this wasn't his first run in with the law because back in 2020, his wife was rescued by a man at a nearby gas station after she had gone there asking for help. The woman told police that Brashear had strangled her and put his hands on her multiple times till she lost consciousness when police pulled up to his house to arrest him, refused to get out of the house. It took hours of negotiations between the SWAT team and Brashear to get him out, and when his mugshots were released, people couldn't help but point out how different he looked this was when people started to piece together everything and realized how much damage the industry had actually caused him now. Ray, one of the stars of the hit show Empire, Tonight, we're seeing hours of new video from his July arrest that ended with his wife flagging down police and telling them the actor had assaulted her for hours inside their Goodyear home. Even though Brasher is the only one responsible for his actions and his rapid decline in, in Hollywood, most people also speculate that he was probably acting out because of all the trauma he went through. What, what makes this even more disturbing is that prior to this Downward Spiral Brasher was actually doing pretty well for himself. He had a few sleeper hits here. Now and there, he was getting booked for small shows and having multiple TV appearances, but all of that suddenly stopped out of nowhere. His music was no longer getting played on the radio. He was barely getting playlists, and no, the director wanted him on their show. It was clear as day that he had been blackballed, but at the time, nobody really knew who would have blackballed him. And with the new revelations being made by Cat Williams, it looks like Brashear was indeed prayed for and used. By these industry men, as for Brashear, he's still a hot mess right now, and he hasn't been in the spotlight for long. But word on the street is he's preparing to file a $50 million lawsuit against Diddy and Will. This was revealed by a blind item, which said, I suspect the soon to step forward as a male victim of this A-list. Mogul will not be the last man to do so, Sean Diddy, 
comes H, this whole the situation is a mess. And honestly, it's really sad to see how Diddy and Will broke Brashear down to pieces and threw him out of the industry when they were done with him. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Cat Williams exposes the industry for preying on using Brashear? And do y'all think Brashear is really going to pull through with this reported $50 million lawsuit against Diddy? And will y'all been thinking what to do? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other messy video.